Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Happy first day of April. So exciting. Beginning of a new three months. Hi, Catherine. <coughs> Hi, Priscilla. Feeling super emotional this morning. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm feeling into like the energy of everybody that's going to be on this call or this video. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I'm super... Hi! Hi, Randy. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, just sort of feeling it. It's super... Hi from Norway. Good morning, Luna. Um, hi, Jazzy. Hi, Kelly. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a little... Just feeling into the emotion of... Um, I don't know what this is right now that's coming up, but um, it'll pass as it always does. So um, while we're waiting for people to join, I just, I ran into this Matt Kahn. Um, hi, Priscilla. I ran it, I read this Matt Kahn thing this morning. I just wanted to read it really quickly before I go into talking about our Council of Twelve and, and, and doing a quick meditation for all of us um, to, to visit our Council of Twelve. Um, so let me just read this to you guys really fast. You can just settle on in and um, wherever you are, just kind of take a deep breath and just sit for a second, um, get present. Um, there's a lot of energy going around right now. There's a lot of excitement and it's sort of like, there's definitely new beginnings happening for all of us, right? April 1st, I really feel it. Um, so here's from Matt Kahn for all of you. Hi Jazzy, I love you girl. So happy you're here. Take a seat, enjoy. So he says, Matt Kahn, it's okay to feel angry even if it's not okay with you. It's okay to feel sad even if it's not okay with you. It's okay to feel fearful, confused, or desperate even if it's not okay with you. It's okay to feel compulsive, heartbroken, or jealous even if it's not okay with you. It's okay to feel judgmental, misunderstood, uninspired and ashamed, even if it's not okay with you. It's okay to feel denied and empty, left out and hopeless, even if it's not okay with you. No matter how you feel, you deserve more love, not less. When love is not a feeling to chase or hold in place, but the compassionate support that befriends each emotion and embraces how you feel, you are able to find the compassionate, companionship you desire without abandoning yourself in the process. In every breath, you deserve more love, not less. This is how acceptance blossoms for the well-being of all. It is the way of heart-centered consciousness. So I don't know, I just felt like I needed to read that this morning. Anyways. All right, so we, I'm going to talk a little bit about our Galactic Council, our SAR Council. So yesterday, I forgot who it was. By the way, I went out and snowshoed yesterday in the sun in Mount Shasta and um, didn't put sunscreen on and just had my glasses on and I forgot that I'm in the snow and the snow reflects back up and you're going to get super sunburned. So now I've got funky red raccoon eyes. Anyways, it is what it is. All right. So somebody yesterday, I can't remember who it was. Um, Lenny, hi, was talking about, they wanted to know if the star family was different than your star council. And it absolutely is. So, so then I was like, oh, I'll do a video today on star council, which is your galactic council, which is your council of 12. Um, and I, the number can be different. It's all kind of dependent on what your experience is, but it's, it is, a group of beings that are with you, guiding you, um, and working with you on a etheric realm. So, um, you know, when we go to sleep at night, a lot of things happen. We go to a lot of different places, and one of those places is we visit our council. Um, and... Um, our council is ascended masters, they could be angels, they could be animals, they could be dragons, 
Um, they can be anything and everything. Any spirit that lives, any spirit that is, um, that exists can uh, be in your council. And it's nice to be able to connect. Um, okay, Kelly, hope you, I'll show it on my YouTube. I mean, I'll post it on my YouTube. Um, the reason you want to be able to connect with your council is because you understand who you're working with. Just like I said yesterday, it's, it's nice to be able to connect with your star family and just feel that connection and know that you're um, with them and they're with you, supporting you. It's the same thing with your council. So it's nice to know that, oh, you know, Jesus is part of my council or Archangel Michael is part of my council and I'm going to call him in right now. Even though we work with all these beings on a regular basis anyways, it's nice to know who your council is um, and who you're working with. Um, and sort of manifesting your life. And another great thing about knowing and understanding your council is that you can always at any time go in and go to the council and basically start, you know, um, having conversations, meeting with them, asking for things, um, manifesting things with them. You know, Matt Kahn had a really great story about meeting his council. He said that he was taken to his council and it was a big table. Um, which is how I've experienced it as well, sort of this really long table and um, they're all the beans are sitting around. And he said, you know, there was all the beans that he had, Melchizedek and Jesus and whoever was in his council. And he said that they, all of a sudden he's sitting there in the middle and he, he looks around and all of these beans take their mask, take their face, kind of peel down their face and he says he's looking at all these beings and they're all him. So they are they were showing him that even though these beings are ascended masters or very um multidimensional beings, they are a reflection of him. Um so they were showing him that yes, I'm Jesus, yes, I'm Melchizedek, yes, I'm Mother Mary or whoever it was, right? But they were they are a reflection of you. So they are they are you. So it's an it's an interesting concept. It's it's a it's one that I'm like trying to grasp right now. Cause it's like, okay, you go in and you kind of channel these beings, right? Or you you experience these these beings, and yes, they're separate from you, but at the same time they are you, right? They're they're a part of you. So, yes, you channel certain things, right? But those are also a part of you. So, it was an amazing kind of revelation when he said that. And so, when we go today to go in and meet our council, just remember that, right? Like, um, these beings are no different than us, right? They are us. Um, we've been there. They've been here. They have been here. We have been where they are. Um, it's all interchangeable. So, um, yeah, just remember that when you go in. Um, and, you know, I've gone up to my council many times and I have not seen... Um, hi, Sierra. I'm so happy you're here. Um, Sierra does all things ET and star being, star family. She knows it all. So if you're ever interested in learning all about that, go check her out. Um... I haven't met all 12 of mine. Um, so the other thing I've noticed is your, your consciousness will only allow uh, what you're able to take in at the moment, right? So there may be higher vibrational beings that are in your council that for whatever reason you're just not quite ready to take in and, and, and experience and explore. Um, and maybe you are. So I've only seen seven of my 12 and I'm just accepting that and letting that be what it is, right? Um, and I think I said this, yes, I can't remember when I said it, but um, whatever you see, whatever you experience, let that be. So don't question it, right? So when I guide us into this meditation and take us to, the, to, to your council, just let whatever comes in come in. Don't judge it. Don't say, oh, that's not right. Or like all of a sudden, if you see this huge dragon sitting at your table, take it in. Don't say that's not a dragon or that can't be right or whatever, right? 
And if that does happen, then just accept that that's part of your ego and um, and your ego is just, just trying to control the whole situation. Your ego's not... The more you do these kind of um, exercises, the more your ego gets used to it and sort of quiets down um, and is accepting of, okay, this is... This is, this is, this is okay, this is safe, um, and it quiets. So if this is the first time that you've gone in um, to experience your counsel, um, just know that there will be your ego hanging out, and that's okay. Um, have a pencil and paper down close to you so that when you come out, whatever you saw or what, whoever you were experiencing you can kind of jot down if there's names that you don't remember but maybe there's a letter like oh it sound looked like they were telling me it was a or b or or f like started with a whatever um write it down it'll come to you and also once we go in this one time you'll be able to to access this going forward because you'll know where you're going it's just like when you go into telos right it's like once you go the first time then you can always go um so before we go in, um, any questions? Share button would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, it would. Totally would. God, man, I'm feeling a lot of emotion. It's crazy. I don't know why. Okay, I don't think there's any questions. Um, so if you're able to be in a quiet space, great. If not, fabulous. Wherever you are, you are. Oh, you did? That's awesome. Yeah, a lot of people have been reaching out to me, um, exp uh, telling me about their experiences in Detelos at night. Um, hi, Anna. Oh, my gosh, love. I'm so had glad you're here. If you don't see anything, then you don't see anything. And you will. You can keep going in and you will. You'll see something. But if you don't, it's, it's okay. Um, it just isn't meant to be right now. Um, and that's a definitely... That's a fear that comes up for a lot of people, right? It's like, um, what if I go and close my eyes and I don't see anything? Um, and that's okay. Just, just look at that. Just look at how that pops up for you, right? Oh, wow. Okay, so that's my ego. Afraid of something powerful, right? Um, and that's okay. And we're going to do a quick meditation to kind of put that ego to the side. So when we go in right now, we're just going to take our ego and let our ego sit next to us um, and just have a seat. So it can take a little time out. Um, and if you don't see anything, you don't see anything and you will the next time. Um, just know that if you listen to my words and you relax and you breathe, even if you don't think you see something, you'll experience something. You will. You'll experience something. Um, exactly, Brandy. Yeah, so you might not see necessarily like a face. You might not see um, a body, but you'll feel something. Um, and I said this the other day. Also, my guide has been tell teaching me um, how to feel more into what I'm experiencing as opposed to thinking or, or conjuring up what that, who is that? Who is that, right? Your brain goes, who is that? And it starts to think. Is that Mother Mary? Is that Mary Magdalene? Is that Isis? Is that Kuan Yin? Who is that, right? So your brains, and then it's like, he's like, stop for a second and just feel. What are you feeling, right? Like, oh, I'm feeling really powerful mother energy. Okay, go into that more. Okay, I'm feeling like heart opening, um, uh, really old soul, been here many, many lifetimes mother taking care of okay right and you start feeling into oh it's mother mary it's not mary magdalene right um so if you don't see which is totally normal feel and feel into it um so anyways let's go and do this okay so <clears throat> you guys are all safe all divinely guided all your guides and angels are with you right now, so you're super duper duper safe, okay? So let's close our eyes. If you can, 
And if not, this will be on YouTube. So check later on this evening on my YouTube channel, Lori of Lemuria. And um, you can go into this meditation when you have time to just be in uh, by yourself in, in sort of quietness, if you're not in quiet space right now. And you can go back to this meditation anytime you want. So you can just go to the channel and listen again. All right. Close our eyes. Just feel your seat. Just feel yourself sitting on whatever you're sitting on. So really ground yourself. Imagine a grounding cord, something that looks like a rope of some sort, any beautiful color and light you want that is holding you from your root chakra down into the center of the earth. So you really want to feel grounded in this meditation. And then take a couple deep, deep breaths in through your nose. And out through your nose. Slowing your breathing down, slowing your heart down. Feeling your heart beat in your body. You're going to ask out loud or to yourself for your crown chakra to begin to open. And that your higher self begin to come in. And I'm asking that every single person on this call is protected and, and surrounded by beautiful white light. And that every single thing they need to hear, see, and feel will be given to them at exactly the right moment. That every experience that they have today during this journey is exactly what they need. And that they are guided with the utmost love ease and grace. Now I want you to ask your ego to just sit right down next to you. So out loud or to yourself, please ego sit down and take a seat. I don't need you for this journey. I love and appreciate everything you do for me on a regular basis. I do not want you to go away. I would just like you to sit and let me experience this on my own. So the ego sits down next to you. If there are any guides you want to call in right now, please feel free to call in anybody you want to go on this journey with you. <clears throat> Just keep breathing in and out through your nose, feeling your body, feeling that cord going down to the center of the earth. And then I want you to imagine that there is a door in front of you. You're standing in front of this door, continuing to breathe, nice and slow, deep breaths. Feeling yourself connected to your higher self, your crown chakra is wide open. You see this beautiful door in front of you. It's any color you want it to be, it's as wide as you want it to be or as thin as you want it to be. And you start walking towards that door and you reach your hand out and you open this beautiful door. And you walk inside and you see this table. And your table can be whatever size it is, whatever shape. Maybe it smells a certain way in this room. Maybe there's colors, maybe there's pictures, maybe there's music. Maybe there's things flying around. So just stand in front of the door for a moment and take in this energy. So just feel what this feels like to be in this room right now. Maybe your body starts to vibrate a little bit faster. Maybe your heart is opening up more. Maybe there's sounds you hear that you haven't heard in a very long time. So just take a moment to experience this room.
And then you see <coughs> a chair that's empty waiting for you. So you go and you sit down on that chair. And this chair can be any size, any color, whatever it looks like to you. And then you sit down in this chair and you look around the room. And you just experience what it is you see and feel. And perhaps over to the left, at the head of one side of the table, you see something. Maybe there's somebody right next to you that you can see and feel. Again, if there's nothing that pops into your head visually, just feel what it feels like to be in this room. That's enough. There might be messages. There perhaps might be somebody that is asking you something or telling you something or reminding you of something. I'm just sitting in this. Maybe there's somebody right in front of you across the table. So this is your counsel. This is you in all your multidimensionality. These are the aspects and parts of you as well as beings that are here supporting you from above. These beings are with you at all times. They are never not with you. And if you can feel the amount of love they are showering you right now, feel that. So feel how much they love you. Feel how much support you have as you sit in this chair right now. Feel how open your heart is, even if you don't see anyone. Know that this is your place to come. That they are here to love and serve you. They are here to remind you of why you are here. Anything you want to manifest, you manifest right here at this table. And know that you can come back here at any time. You can open up that door and walk straight into this table and sit here with these beings. And if you are able to see all of them, fabulous. If you're not, just know that when you're ready, you will. The most important part of this is to feel what it feels like to be in this presence. And this frequency you're feeling, this heart-centered love that you're feeling is who you are. And they're just reflecting that back to you. So the more you can come into this room, the more you'll be able to really start feeling who you are. And there's definitely your star family is definitely part of this. There are star beings at your table. And they might not even be your star family. So take another look around and just take another deep breath in. Really feeling this space. Thanking all of them for being here and showing themselves to you even if it's just energetically and emotionally. And you can get up from your chair and you can push your chair in. I'm taking one more look around that big room. And walking out, opening up that door and walking out the door, closing the door behind you. 
walking away from the door, knowing that that door is always there. You can always go in, open it, and sit down and experience your counsel. You can ask your counsel anything you want at any time, and they will answer. That's why they're there. So then I want you to come back to your seat. <clears throat> I want you to come back to your body. I want you to come back to your breath. So just start to take some deep breaths in and out through your nose again, just feeling your body. Thanking whoever you want to thank, if there is anybody you want to thank for this journey, being with you. Feeling yourself deeply rooted into the earth. So you're really sitting down. And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes. All right. So that is one way to access your counsel. Gotta open up my eyes. One way to access your counsel. So if I, uh, I would recommend um, jotting down some stuff that came up for you, um, anything you felt, anything you saw. Um, and um, if you missed this, you can find it on my um, YouTube channel at Lori of Lemuria. Um, yeah, you can go and take a look and go through that journey again. Um, yeah, so your counsel is here. Um, oh, Brandy, that's so awesome. Yeah, there's some powerful emotions that can come up because you're being reflected. You're ref being, you're, you know, that energy is reflecting back to you who you are, right? Um, and again, if you didn't feel anything, that's okay. That's beautiful. Um, you will. Um, and you did. So just trust and know that. Um, so these, if, if, if anytime you come, anytime you're, 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 uh, lost or confused, this is just another tool we have. These, these, your counsel is with you. They are real. It's not imaginary. Um, they are there. And, um, the more you go in and access them, the more they can assist you. Uh, when I started writing my book, which, by the way, when I say writing my book, that means thinking about writing my book. Um, I sat down and went straight up to my counsel and asked them to help help me um, channel my chap the titles of my chapters, and um, and they were right there, and they just whew, sent that information right in. So it's easy to access if you just um, know what you're accessing. <coughs> so I think I'm going to end there. Um, are there any questions before I, before I um, jump off? I know that sometimes it's a little bit delayed, so I'll wait a few seconds to see if anybody has any questions. Mm. You're so welcome, Priscilla. Yeah, Catherine, go. Waiting for Catherine's question. What if you see a person that happens to, that has happened to me. I have a couple, I have, um, a couple beings that I don't have, it, I know they're galactic in some way, like, um, I know they're from a, a star system that I don't know, and I don't know their names. Um, and so I just accept it, and I'm kind of like, okay, I just don't know your names yet, um, Wow, Blue Road woman with me for years, but have no name. Was she at the table? I wonder if she was at the table. Um, 
I think it's, I think the names will come to us um, the more we feel into the energy. My intuition always feels like there's, there's a frequency about them that until I'm ready to take in that frequency, I'm not ready to <clears throat> receive it all yet. So I just trust that when I'm ready, um, I will hear it. And I also feel like sometimes it doesn't matter, right? So um, sometimes I have had conversations with beings and it never, it doesn't matter. So our, our humanness wants us to name certain things, right? Um, and sometimes it doesn't matter uh, what the name is, but we want that name, right? So we, we want to we know a name. The other thing you can do is, if, the, if it is important to get the name, um, you can ask. You can ask. Um, and it's interesting when we ask because I just feel rude calling her blue-robed woman. <laughs> have you ever asked her her name? I'm sure you have, but... Um, Wow, blue robe woman, I love it. Um, yeah. Have you ever asked her her name? I'm thinking that you have. Um, yes, always. Um, yeah, so what I would do also is just play around with... Um, so there's this... There's this uh, push and pull of our ego and our intuition, right? And so, and I have this so much in my life right now, for sure. Um, you've asked her. Okay, so um, I, I know my earrings today. I don't know what happened. I just decided it was earring day. Um, yeah, so what happens is we want it so badly. So even when we're in sort of the, a meditation with them, we are in so much control of wanting to control, like, okay, I'm going to get the name. Okay, I'm going to ask her her name. Okay, I'm going to sit and feel her name. Okay, I don't have a name. Why is she not telling me her name? Okay, let me let me see if I can, like, feel into this more. Okay, let me just relax more. Okay, let me open my heart more, right? So we're, that's all in our heads, right? So it's possible that you'll never get her name. So it's kind of like, okay, let's just surrender it all. Let's just surrender it that you might not ever get Blue Robe name, her name, and her name's Blue Robe, and that's that. And, right, exactly. So, whatever, right? At least there's a, at least you feel this blue robed woman with you, and perhaps at some point when you're not even asking her, she'll tell you her name. So we gotta just get out of our own ways. We gotta get out of our, um, we gotta get out of our way. We gotta just let it be, you know? Whatever comes, comes, and if it doesn't come, it doesn't come, and who gives a shit, you know? You got blue robe woman hanging out with you all the time. Fabulous. Access her. What the heck does she have to say, you know? What's the energy she's giving you? What's the wisdom? Why is she here, you know? Mm. Yeah, man, there's that push and pull of, of, of the ego and of, of intuition playing, playing themselves back and forth. Totally. I know, man. I'm selling. I'm telling you, it's it's crazy. Um, I love you, Deanna. Um, anyways, you guys. Okay, so um, I really hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys were able to access um, something, um, even if it was just to feel something different today. Um, that would be amazing. Surrender, surrender, surrender. No shoot, man. Surrender's huge right now. Surrender's everything right now. Um, deep, deep, deep surrender, um, frightening and scary and yet so, um, necessary for us to surrender. Even when we go into the, into the meditation, right? Um, even when we go into the meditation, oh, thanks love, um, surrendering into whatever comes up, surrendering into the fact that you don't know blue robe woman's name. Surrender. Okay. Next. Right? Like literally. Okay, next. You know, that's it. Okay, next. What's next? Okay, I surrender. What's next? I surrender. What's next? Oh, Anna, good. I'm so glad you were here to join us and to, um, to be a part of this meditation. 
I think I was really feeling your energy, so. Um, hi, Austin. Glad you're here. Glad you were here, Anna. Okay, next. Yeah. What are you going to do? Why waste your energy, right? Why waste our energy on, 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 on something we're trying to control? It's a waste of energy, you know? It's like, okay, whatever, you know? If you went into the council and you went into the room and you didn't see anything, okay, whatever, next. I'm just going to move on, you know? You know, just know that you felt something. Know that it was there. Know that you experienced something even if you didn't experience it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, um, I think that's it. I don't know what I'm going to talk about tomorrow. 11 a.m., same time, same sweatshirt. <laughs> Anything else before I go? So this will be on YouTube, Lori of Lemuria. If you guys missed it, I did a, a meditation. Um, yeah, it is a healthy outlook. I agree. Um, I did a meditation. So if you want to go back in and visit your council, go to the YouTube channel. Lemuria. Okay, I will. I'll talk more about Lemuria and Mew tomorrow. That'll be fun. Um, Lemuria it is. All right, loves. Yeah, check out the two, Boston. All, so far, there's only through the first two videos I couldn't um, upload. I didn't have enough space in my phone. So I did day four and five and then today. So, yeah. You're so welcome. I'm so glad you were here. Um, Catherine, I can't wait till you start on Tuesday. I'm really excited to start watching your live videos. Um, if anybody is new here, we're doing hashtag 30 days of IG live and there's all kinds of people that are doing it. Um, so if you just hashtag that on Instagram, yeah, I know day six already. If you hashtag, um, 30 days of IG live, you can find all of the women and one man that are doing it and you can watch our live videos and if you want to join in you can join in we would love to have you so um just let us know um if you want to join and it's hashtag 30 days of ig live thank you brandy and um love you guys all so much have a fabulous fabulous saturday april 1st um and i hope so many blessings come your way come join us love you guys so much take care bye